we could get more support from uh, uh, from the government. Uh, that, that's quite a sensitive issue uh, because you know two weeks ago uh, uh, our president said that no more should be done for for ground up initiatives. But we've been here for ten years. Nobody has come up to say, hey, you know, can we help you? Uh, we, we, we we try to reach out to a lot of organisations and they say, oh no, you're yeah, new, the you know, IPC status and everything. Hi, I'm Raymond Koo. I'm the founder of the Saturday Movement and I'm also the founder of S17 Kitchen. The movement started uh, as a group of volunteers uh, about 10 and a half years ago called Saturdays at Lincoln Baru. It's modeled after the book Tuesdays with Maurice. So what we do, we minister to 1,500 units of uh, rental flats here. 90% of our of our uh, beneficiaries are elderly and 10% are some of the needy families who's, who's got uh, uh, big families of seven, eight, nine and all. One of the, 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 the biggest challenge is how to uh, do more because sadly, the, the highest suicide rate in Singapore is actually the elderly for many years, many years. So what we do here is, is very meaningful. Uh, we have uh, befriending sessions uh, on uh, Wednesdays and Fridays to let them come together and chit chat and just air whatever that's on their mind to let them out of their chest and what they always say. Every Saturday, what we do, we, we distribute bread and, and fruits, fresh fruits to, the, uh, to them in the house. And uh, during this time uh, where we give bread and fruits, we also give them tokens for them to come and have their meals here. So we provide 500 free meals a week for them. We started with a small group of about 20, uh, 10 and a half years ago. Uh, when we started to say, okay, let's, let's have something to eat downstairs and also we were trying to get uh, uh, the residents to come down. Most of them were, were, were not interested at all. First thing to ask, are you from the government? Are you from the church? Are you from the temple? Because there's a lot of insecurity like, are these people for real? Are they, why are they giving me free food? Why are they even providing me lunch? Why are they providing me tea time? You know, things like that. So there was a lot of uncertainty there. Uh, so I think over the years, we have we, we gained their trust and, and, uh, and it becomes a, a very kampong spirit. Everybody helps each other. Uh, and if you walk around now, everybody knows, almost know everybody. Previously, when we first came, everybody was like, oh, okay, I don't know you, you don't know me, but uh, after months of chatting, oh, I know you live that block, which level and all, but they've never interacted. We, we do it off-site, even before this, uh, we did it at, at my restaurant, the Prakan restaurant, and then food was catered from Orchard Hotel. Uh, it's difficult to serve the food warm or hot. So I think, you know, not, not being able to, to eat a, a hot meal is uh, actually not as uh, appetizing as what it would be. <laughs> so thus I said, no, why don't we, we set up a place here so we, they can get hot meals. Not only hot meals, but they can also have a selection of what they want to eat. S17 Kitchen is also about uh, befriending the, the community here. Uh, a lot to do with mental health. Uh, so instead of just bringing the uh, uh, nasi padang, we have the coffee to bring in the, the younger set of uh, clientele. Very important for us because we, we want the, the, the younger generations to be able to befriend the elderly as well. We have six residents working here. Uh, the rest are from outside of the community. Our coffee is a very interesting project. Uh, we work with uh, two very young and dynamic girls uh, who, who's got a passion for sharing coffee not only with uh, uh, people of their ages, but they also have a passion to share coffee with the elderly. I mean, the elderly will, will probably have a kopi or, but you know, when you actually give them a, a cafe latte or, or, or uh, a black coffee, and it, it really lightens them up. Uh, besides doing coffee, they they are recreating uh, an old time special. It's called Jeffels. Jeffels are sandwiches. Uh, it's actually originated in, in, uh, in Australia in the 50s. And, and, and what's interesting is that they, they put some local flavours in it also. They love the, the curry jaffles. Uh, I mean, curry is quite universal. Uh, everybody takes it, uh, especially the old folks. There are a lot of things we take for granted. For example, the truffle fries. I would say nobody has ever tried truffle fries before. And this is the first time trying truffle fries. It's like, it's actually french fries, but wow, it's like so nice. 
and, and nasi padang is, is something that is uh, very acceptable. Everybody, uh, it, it's cooked very differently. It's more Indonesian style. The beef rendang is a little bit sweeter and it's got a lot more uh, coconut. And then on top of uh, the coconut cream, we also use desiccated coconut. Another very outstanding dish is our mee rebus. What we use uh, is we use grago uh, or krill uh, for the method, so it really enhances the flavour. We could get more support from, uh, uh, from the government. We've been here for 10 years, nobody has come up to say, hey, you know, can we help you? Uh, we, 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 we try to reach out to a lot of organisations and say, oh no, you're, you're new, the you know, IPC status and everything. Uh, I think the system is a bit flawed in Singapore, or very flawed. All the big organisations will go out and, and do fundraising every year and they, they, they raise millions and millions and millions of dollars. But where is the end to it? I mean, everybody is just hoarding. They're hoarding so much money that they have to have fund managers to manage their, their, the money that they have. So I, I, I'm very much against this. And I think that you know, if you raise a certain amount, then you should just stop. Level the playing field so that ground up initiatives or other, uh, other initiatives will, will have a, a, an opportunity to get some donations. So far, uh, we already have one private or, uh, organization and uh, all tanking that, that give us a little bit of, of funding and then also Tan Chin Tuan Foundation. Other than that, it's being funded, uh, it's self-funded by my Peranakan restaurant and my holding company. It's not easy coming every Saturday. Uh, because I say, ah, oh, it's so tiring, you know, Saturdays again. Uh, but when you come here, you, you see that uh, they're all so happy, they're all looking forward to Saturdays. They come here well dressed. I would say all of them dress up very well, and that really energizes me. Really, really energizes me. Well, we, we would love to see a lot of uh, co more corporate donors, corporates uh, uh, with the real intent. Why I say that? Because wow, I love what you do. And they come here and survey and everything else. Oh, we like to do so much and so much. We like to donate so much, so much. Oh, but you're not IPC, which means they they, they can't do any income tax claims or rebates and all, oh sorry, I, I sometimes question the real intent, are you really intending to say you want to really help the elderly or three quarters of the intent is because you get a, a, a tax rebate. What will be very interesting if you can uh, gather your group, gather your colleagues, gather your company to come and say hey, you know, let's order food from this organisation or you're, you're still paying the same for your meal but you're, you're doing good. Uh, uh, in that sense, so I would encourage everybody, please come order. We got good, decent food. We got very good coffee. We got shuffles and everything else. Please come and support this initiative here. It means uh, a lot to, to, to everybody in this uh, uh, area.